Christmas, and we, here we are to celebrate Christ our Lord, and uh, we want to welcome you all tonight to our service, and uh, that you, we might pray together in thanksgiving uh, for Jesus who brings us light and who brings salvation to us. And thank you for those who online who are with us in prayer. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and of fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Indeed, Jesus came as our Savior to save us. He came in darkness to bring light, to bring peace, to bring forgiveness so that we might live a new life. And so let us take a moment as we come together here recognizing that we need a Savior. We need him to touch our hearts. We need him to uh, transform our world into a world, a place of love and goodness. Lord Jesus, you came from the Father as the gift of the Father to, to mankind, that we might in him find life, salvation, and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way you came to be our light, 
to show us the way of love, of goodness, of, uh, of uh, togetherness as we journey to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us your spirit to help us on this journey so that we are enlightened and transformed so that we can be more and more like Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Together now we give glory to God who has come to us and uh, who has uh, given us so many blessings and so many gifts. And so we say together, glory, glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest and, and on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we, we adore you, you we, we glorify you, you we, we give you thanks for your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, who have made this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant, we pray, that we, who have known the mysteries of his light on earth, may also delight in his, in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. You have broken as on the day of Midian. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace, for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today, Today is, is born, born our, our Savior, Savior, Christ the Lord. The Lord. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth, sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Today, Today is, is born, born our Savior, Savior Christ, Christ the, Lord. the Lord. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, for he is to be revered above all gods. Today, Today is born, born our Savior, Savior Christ, Christ the, the Lord. Lord. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. 
Today, Today is born, born our Savior, Christ, Christ the Lord. Lord. Rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Today, Today is born, born our Savior, Savior Christ, Christ the, the Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Good news and great joy to all the world. Today is born our Savior Christ the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria all went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in, the, in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone to, into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph 
and the child lying in the manger. And this, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, oh, how God is good, and how God loves all of humanity. God wants everyone to be saved, no matter what. No matter what religion, no matter where they are in this world, God cares for people who have been here around and who will be for generations to come. He cares about his people, and he sent his son Jesus to be with us. We called him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. God came and took on our flesh. He came to be one of us, and he was born like a child, like we were born, and, uh, and he grew up, but he knew that he came from God, and he came to tell us also that we are of God, and God continues to be born in the world. He was born 2,000 years ago, a little over, and, uh, but he came so that we may have life. And so each one of us, we are called to live as children of God, because God dwells in each of our hearts. We are the temple of God now, and we carry God to the world. And each one of us, we have a special gift, and uh, God's Spirit is with us, helping us every to give birth to Christ. To give birth to Christ means to love, to carry God's mercy, to be helpful for others, to care for them, to forgive them. It means to respect them. It means to uh, be open to everyone and to build and to be as one together in, uh, in the heart of God because God is not separate. He is with us and he calls us to be with one another. And so this feast today reminds us of Mary and Joseph who went to, to uh, Bethlehem, Mary was carrying a child, and we have something beautiful about mothers who carry children to the world and who make this world so beautiful, and they carry children full of love and goodness, and, uh, and uh, we are there uh, to witness uh, the miracle of God every time mothers carry children to the earth like Mary did. But we know that when they reached Bethlehem, there was no place in the inn for them. And uh, that speaks to us uh, very strongly because sometimes there's no room in our hearts for one another. There's no room in our hearts for the poor and for the broken. There's no room because we're busy, we're doing things, we're playing, and uh, uh, we neglect the children at school that are there around us, or we neglect uh, uh, to care for one another. And Jesus invites us to have an open heart and to remember that people are sacred and that uh, uh, we need to welcome and we need to be present to people around us because, uh, because we are all one. We are together and uh, and so Jesus invites us to make room in our lives for him, to make room and to uh, take time to listen, take time to uh, be aware of people around us, be aware of their needs, be aware that they, they are struggling too maybe with life and so we can be present to them as uh, uh, <coughs> so uh, we learn something from what happened in Bethlehem when there was no room in the inn. And they had to go to the country outside the city. And there in a barn, Mary gave birth to Jesus. 
And so there's something there that we can learn too, that when we come to Jesus in our own poverty, in our own weakness, maybe we struggle somehow, maybe we didn't take time during Advent to prepare our hearts for the Lord. Maybe we uh, are not attuned to, to God. Maybe we don't listen to his word. Uh, he tells us that when we come to him with our brokenness, with our weakness, he comes to us. He comes to save us. He comes to tell us that uh, we are children of God, and he comes to put us back on the path of life so that we may live like Jesus, more and more like Jesus. And so we are called uh, to not be afraid of our weakness, but to come to the Lord with our weakness and open ourselves to his presence and to his mercy. And then we, uh, we continue to meet Christ and we allow Christ to grow in our hearts and we allow Christ to be part of our lives. And so Jesus came in the darkness, and uh, we, that's why we celebrate Christ during the night, because he came in darkness. Well, in Israel at the time of Jesus' birth, there was a lot of darkness. The Roman soldiers were there, and they, they didn't treat people very good. There was uh, uh, fighting and quarreling, and even in families and, and whatnot. And Jesus came into that darkness to bring something new. And uh, he comes into the darkness of our own souls also to bring life, to tell us that we belong to him and that uh, we are his children and that uh, each one of us, we have uh, the life of God in us and that uh, each one of us, we are called to come into the light and uh, receive the light of Jesus so that we may follow the way of Jesus and that the, the way of Jesus can build a world where there's harmony, where there's peace, where there is goodness, where people are respected, where people are treated with dignity, where people are, are uh, uh, loved and have a place that in our world there might not be any more war and violence. And, uh, and so we call on Jesus always to come to our world. And uh, in this time of pandemic, we know that we need to open our hearts and, uh, and live in a new way and build a world where there is more love, more goodness. And, and so we are called to bring Christ to the world. And so in some way we can say that we give birth to Christ by the way we are. We, we bring forth love. We bring forth that, the gift of, of the Spirit, and, and we bring something new into the world. And so Christ continues to be born and uh, to, to save the world from darkness and from hatred and from all the evil and uh, so that a world of love can become. And so today... We celebrate together the presence of Christ in our, in our world, in our life. We celebrate that Christ is with us, that he has not abandoned us because we are weak, but that he has come to lift us up and to give us dignity, to remind us that we are children of God and that we belong to him and that uh, uh, each one of us, we have something to bring to the world so that the world may be one and that the world may be together and that we might care for one another just like Jesus did. And so may this Christmas open us again to this presence of Jesus. And may this Christmas help us to recognize that Jesus has saved me and he continues to save me from darkness and from sin. And he continues to be with me and, and to call me forth and call that uh, that Christ may live in each one of us and that uh, we, uh, may be, uh, we may carry Christ to one another. And so Christmas, I think, is really an important time for all of us as we uh, celebrate his presence. And we might remember 
the many ways in which Christ has come to us in the past and give thanks to, to Jesus who enlightens us, who gives us his word, who teaches us, and who uh, walks with us and so that we can be more and more uh, like Jesus in this world. So let us uh, do that in prayer and may this Eucharist help us to, uh, uh, to uh, be open to the light that Jesus brings us always through his word and uh, through uh, everything that happens because he's always at work with us, helping us on that journey. The creed we pray together is believing in uh, Jesus, our Savior, our Messiah. He is the Word of God, the Word of life. And uh, our, our saying the creed today is an opportunity for us again to, to renew uh, our faith in, in the, the Savior that is with us and that we might uh, be open to him and to his Word and uh, to believe that... Uh, that basically uh, uh, we carry Christ. We give birth, we carry Christ to the world, and so, so we pray together. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried. He, he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And so we take time now to pray, to pray Jesus, to pray the Father, that he will uh, uh, bless us and bless our families, and that he will help us to live like Jesus in the light, and uh, that uh, he may uh, answer our deepest needs. We to all these petitions, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians everywhere, striving to bear witness to God's unfathomable love for the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For governments and citizens groups working to build peace among nations and peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For families everywhere, where we first encounter the joy and love of God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this community called to proclaim God's love to the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray also for an end of this pandemic and, uh, and uh, for, uh, that we may learn to, uh, to be as one and that... Uh, we may form community and care for each other like uh, Jesus did. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for women who bring children to the earth. We see that Mary brought uh, Jesus to the world and he was a gift to the world. He brought salvation. And uh, we pray for every uh, woman that they may be treated with dignity and love and that uh, they may know how sacred they are and that they might be respected and cared for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray that uh, divisions in the world, divisions between uh, people, prejudice may end, and that uh, we may understand that Jesus came for everyone. He came to bring us together, 
and to realize that uh, we all enrich one another through our lives. And so for peace and harmony in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you never cease to love us. We have experienced time and time and time over and over again that your presence is there. You're present in people who love us, who care for us, people who lift us up. You're present in our lives. You're present to those who mourn, to those who struggle in one way or another. You come to them and you grace them with your love and your presence. Grant that our hearts may be open uh, to each other and that we might be a gift to one another. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we offer this bread and wine today, we can offer ourselves to the Lord and say, Lord, send your spirit and help us to really give our lives for one another. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble, with humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. May, may the, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice us. at your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, our for our good and, and the good, good of all his holy church. church. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to yours, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. For the many, many blessings that Christ has brought to us and to the world, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of, of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, blessed is he, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have uh, created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And he said to them, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of, his, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Adolphe and Saint Boniface, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Pope Francis, our Bishop Albert, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the families that are with us, are praying with us, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, Gather to yourself all of create all your children, 
scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, to whom you, you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are all God's children, and uh, God came to save us all and to bring us to the fullness of life. And so, united with each other, with our families, with, our, with all uh, children of God, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and, the and the glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In your homes, wherever you are, if there's somebody next to you, you can offer them your peace and pray that uh, there will be peace in our world. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy mm. on us. Lamb mm. of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Many of you are in your homes and uh, will not be able to receive uh, communion, but you can have a spiritual communion, and I just invite you to welcome Jesus in your heart and welcome his word and be open to him and ask him to lead us and lead you and teach you and bless you in whatever way. Yes, this is, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you, you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
in our own hearts, let us take a few moments just to thank Jesus for, for his word, for his presence, for leading us, for being our shepherd, for forgiving our sins. Thank Jesus for being close to us and showing us the way that leads to heaven, the way of love and goodness. And we thank, also thank the Father for all those who carried Jesus to us, carried his love, who surrounded us with his peace. And let us pray that our world will open their hearts to him that everybody would open their hearts to Jesus. For he is our Savior. He is the one that you have sent to us, Father. We thank you for him. We welcome him in our hearts. And we ask the gift of the Spirit to follow him always. As you look at the crib, as you come maybe to pray the crib in your own house, or like, remember that he came for all of us and that he keeps coming daily to each one of us so that we might be saved. And so let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we, who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity, may, through an honorable way of life, become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we, we have a special blessing here. And... Uh, as I bless you, I'd like to uh, bless uh, uh, your families who are gathered and uh, to bless all the, those we carry in our hearts and that we may know that we are blessed people because of Jesus. May God, the infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and, that, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night, drive far away from you uh, the darkness of vice and enlighten your hearts with the light of his of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angels, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and the heavenly realm, fill you with the gifts of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and your families and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace and uh, let us continue to celebrate in whatever way we can, that it be through prayer or praise or, or a meal or whatever, that you may continue the celebration. Amen. Amen. to the world the Lord is come let earth receive her King let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing joy to the earth the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. 
While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy No more let sins and sorrows grow Nor thorns infest the ground He comes to make His blessings flow For as the curse is sound For as the curse is sound For as, for as the curse is found He rules the world with truth and grace And makes the nations prove The glories of His righteousness And wonders of His love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of 